Hey guys, this is Luke for Smith here. This is a request on how to set up the Easy Cap Capture Card. Um, a request for my Think 1989. Um, all you need is a capture card itself, which is the Easy Cap. That green light goes on when it's turned on, and the cables and S video cable on the end of it. So all you need is I'll try it on, I'll do it on my PS2 because I know it works on there. All you need is the um, cables. Just pull them out of the back of the um, TV, and yeah, this is a mess of cables I've got here. Yeah, I'll sort them out later. Right, these are the cables, and all you need to do here is to just connect each of them up. So red to red, ye yellow to yellow, and white to white. Which, hang on a minute, I'll um, get them all plugged in. Okay, all the um, cables are connected. If you got an S video connection, you can plug it into here, but. I'm not quite sure what different now. I'll probably make it near to HD as it will ever be, but oh well. So then, all you need to do is to unplug. You first of all, you need the software on your computer. So install the disc first. This this can actually be found on Amazon, which I'll put a link in the description on where to buy it. And then you just need to plug this in and then that will come up and then it will register it and everything like that so now I will go over to my desktop and start it up so see you guys at the desktop okay now we're at the desktop we want to find the software so I think it's this one an unled video studio so we double click on that now for some reason my one, I think it might work on yours, but EasyCap is quite oldish now, so it may seem to crash, but it's never failed to me on the recording, apart from audio problems, that's the only problem. But, right, we go to Movie Wizard, um, what, what you need to do is, the only problem about this is, if, if, if you want to do it with commentary, you have to have an audio audio software like like wavepad as seen down down there this one or oh, you can't you can't see my mouse for some reason because it's um i think i disabled it whilst recording so back okay now you need to click on or actually before you do that it's be a good idea to turn the actual console on First of all, you want to click on capture. Capture. <coughs> and I've got no idea why you've done that. Right, you want to click on digital TV source. Oh no, ain't it? it's this one. Second one down the signs tech. It should come up because this is another problem of the of the um easy cap. Oh, there it is. Right, it has come up now. And in order to set it up even more, go to options, and this is how I do it: capture options. No, 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 not that one. What right, in? It's video and audio. Yep. Click on input source and then go to video compositive and then it's PAL and then if that's the thing if on audio device if you want it to capture the console audio the game audio then click on microphone USB audio interface but if you don't want game audio and you just want your voice which will make commentary a lot easier for you so you don't have to record commentary um click on your microphone which is the top one so let's go to this one and we go under here <coughs> now this will not record my voice it will just 
record the game audio. Then you have, you'll have to either record your voice at the same time, which I have trouble with, or do post commentary. And then you've got to edit, which is a bit difficult. So my advice to you is do it in post commentary, because then you can like edit it easier. Okay. Uh, got to find my controller. I don't know where. It, oh, here it is. Okay. Now, this has still got the um, dip there, disc read error. I'm still trying to get that Resident Evil 3 disc working. But, anyways, all you need to do is click on capture video. And then it will start capturing as soon as the timer goes up. Right, it's now capturing, as seen by the timer. So, record your session. Do the recording session for however long you like. And then click stop. Capture and then it should appear on the little drop down box below. And after that, well, sometimes another thing of this is the codec gets the codec wrong. So if you do like live commentary or want to do post commentary, if the codec gets wrong and you can't put it into Movie Maker or Camtasia or Sony Vegas. That means you can't edit it, which means you have to upload it the way it is, or re-record the entire session. Right. So, here is my video. And then just press play. And now it's actually playing up. So you can look at it, and then, well, you can edit it on here, but I don't use this for editing. I only use this for, like, doing recordings. So then, you want to click on the um, exit button. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. <clears throat> and then you want to go into Camtasia. And then, let me just get this thing up. Yeah, yeah. And then, when Camtasia starts up, edit it. And all that stuff. I will, sh I will show you when Camtasia comes up I'll close it and then I'll just show you how to record your voice but yeah recording your voice is optional it's up to you you can have it without commentary with post commentary and all that but you have to do editing you have to do a lot of editing that is why I'm not really using the easy cab I can't be like oh I'm too lazy to do editing it's too hard I, I don't really like to do editing right just click import media find your video and then it'll be there I think it'll be in videos, your video, video, on Windows 7 or, um, you know what else, on Windows 7 and Vista, it should be under videos. Now, this is what I use for, like, recording my voice. <coughs> Wavepad, audio editor, it's free, well, it was paid f for it, but I had the 60 day trial, it ran out, so I had to downgrade to get the free version. All you do on here is click the record button. You click OK. And then you click record button again. You have to do this the exact same time that you want that you do the recording, then you just do this. Hey guys, this is Luke for Smith. I'm doing a test recording for someone. I don't know who's watching this. Anyway, see you guys. Okay, now you need to stop it. Right, you got the option to play it back. Hey guys, this is a for someone. I don't know who's watching this. Anyway, see you guys. Okay, now you need to stop it. Alright, that's sweet. Alright, do that and it'll appear in there. In order to save it, we have to go down here and click Save File As. And then you want to save it as, put in a name, save it to wherever you want to save it. And then just click on the second option, which is MP3. Click save. Oh yeah, I, I already done one, so I just overwrite it. Yeah, click OK, don't worry with that, just OK that. And then it just save it, and then it will be saved, and then you can like use it for editing and all that stuff. So, anyways, that was it. Any, any questions? Um, please put in the comments and I will answer them for you. Uh, personally, my um, yeah, personally, my um, 
thoughts on this? It not very good. I I'm not quite keen on it myself. I bought it. It cost about six ninety nine off of Amazon. Um, it was good. I mean, but sometimes the code it gets wrong, and you can't edit it, and you can't add audio to it, and then sometimes it crashes. And it's awkward. So, but I have got a dazzling that doesn't record very good for me either. I'm guessing it's my computer, but I'm not quite sure what it is. So, my advice to you is buy a good dazzle. Now, there's different types of dazzles, but my advice to you is like buy a HD something, save up your money, buy a good capture card. Because I'm guessing this is why that was so cheap. But it, it does work. I mean, I, I've actually made test videos, it worked. But it sometimes works and sometimes don't for me. So, yeah, it's completely up to you. This is just a video like showing you how to do it. So, anyways, I was Luke for Smith, and we'll see you next time, guys. See ya.